Hi everyone! Welcome to part 2 of lesson 3, where we'll talk about the naming guidelines of variables. You know, Python has very strict rules as to what can be used as a variable name and what cannot. Let's have a look. According to rule number 1, a variable name cannot start with a number. So for example, 911 GT as a variable name is not gonna work for you. You'll get a syntax error each and every time you try to use it. While on the other hand, S63 is a perfectly valid variable name because it simply doesn't start with a number. The second rule states that the only characters we are allowed to use when naming variables are A to Z letters, capital or lowercase, numbers from 0 to 9, and lastly, the underscore character. And that's it. So if we'll try to use any other characters as part of a variable name, such as dash, dollar sign, dot, comma, space, and so on, we'll get a syntax error once again. So the best ways to connect two words in one variable name is by using the underscore as a separator or using camel case, which means capitalizing the first letter in each word, like so. Another important detail to keep in mind is that variable names are case sensitive. So if we want to name our variable shawarma with a capital S, and then we get so emotional about it, so we try to access it as an all capital shawarma, it will not work for us, as you can see. So the case needs to be 100% of a match to the original. The last rule of naming variables prevents you from using keywords, which Python reserved for other operations. Take a look at this list of words, which Python has a special use for. At this point, we are only familiar with the print keyword. And frankly, we can also add the word type to this list, which we also recognize from before. And the reason why type doesn't officially appear on the list is that Python will allow you to use it as a variable name. However, you will encounter many errors along the way. So let's decide to place it in the exact same category as the rest of the reserved keywords, even though it's kind of an odd one. And that's pretty much all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. What do you have to lose? If you'd like to get notified about any new videos, just click on the subscribe button and then I'll be very, very happy. I'm still working on lesson number four, where we'll talk about methods that we can apply to strings, booleans, and all the different data types we've learned so far. Um, so I hope you guys are excited as much as I am, because I'm freaking excited. I shouldn't have banged the table where my microphone stands, but I hope you guys are having an amazing Easter or Passover, whatever you guys are celebrating. Let's celebrate life, let's stay healthy, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.